back to another video, Mike from Slow Speed. So today's video is going to be about the BMW 435 and uh, I never really wanted to make a video like this and I'm not going to blow out of proportion and exaggerate. Uh, you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not really like a clickbaity, oh my god, I damaged my car, everything is completely destroyed, how do I live from now? This is just an, like, uh, I'll say an update and a kind of, if you get into a situation like this, uh, what you want to do, uh, the options you have, and I'm pretty much just knowing uh, how things work before you get yourself into it. This is a Autoflex. This is a um, radioactive green pearl Autoflex. It's a sort of custom color, so if you guys are familiar with custom colors, uh, it's just like kind of paint. Uh, you mix up a bunch of colors and then you end up with the color that you get. Uh, the wonderful thing about custom colors is that no one really has the same exact color. Uh, it might look the same. Well, it might look similar on pictures, but when you see it in person, a lot of people realize that this car is truly like a unique color. However, uh, one of the negative things about it is that it being custom color, hopefully somebody was taking some type of uh, notes when measuring um, what amount of which color, or, or A, or B, or C, because uh, if you don't and you just guesstimate, then well, you can never achieve that color again. Uh, like many guys know, in the beginning, I had some rock chips to the side of the car uh, over by the door and uh, hit up Pro Dipper and I'm like, listen, man, I just want to get this all taken care of. I had rock chips all along the side. He went ahead and he took care of that for me. However, uh, the green was a tad bit off. I don't know if you can tell now. Like sometimes you can tell, sometimes you can't. Right now, I can't tell, but if you look at it from a certain angle, you can tell just a tad bit the mixture is off. I just paid $2,500 and it's like, oh man, it ain't even come out perfect. But at the same time, you know, um, I know it's custom color and the rock chips and whatever the case may be. I am happy that it at least looks remotely alike and a lot of people can't tell. Uh, people tell me they, they can only tell after I say something. so. Uh, that, that's good, right? So now comes the bad part about this video. I was making a U-turn and I underestimated where the curb was and I tagged the curb with the bumper down there. I'll show you guys. That's kind of why I'm hitting you from this angle right here so y'all don't, you know, it, it, boom, and then just out there. Uh, I, I'll go ahead and show you guys. So if you take a look down here, this is where it's at. This is the damage right here. You're making me get down, make me get down the ground, but it's right here is a damage. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person, it looks like shit. You could tell I ripped off the silver as well, kind of down here too. It's just how it kind of looks. I can see how it's peelable as well. You see right here, see I got some damage. Something flew up in here and hit it. I got some nicks down here as well. However, I expected this, all of this, that, I expected that stuff on the car because of just the car being low. But yeah, I went ahead and tagged the curb. Nice, nice little chunk. And it's just um, a freaking damaged the bumper back there. Now the, the front bumper, I, I always consider getting another one and getting it resprayed because of the fact that the car sits kind of low. And in the beginning, I was just going over everything. I'll even show you guys underneath the bumper is completely done. Uh, it's damn, they're not even green anymore. It's not even silver. It's pretty much like black scrape marks everywhere. And that's one thing that I can say about this Autoflex. This Autoflex is pretty much like paint. So what happens is it goes on like paint. You spray it in different coats. And you get this uh, like mirror style finish just like paint. You know, um, we I will be coming up with a paint versus wrap video. Teaming up with one of the cool guys over there from uh, Royal Posh. Uh, he has a lime green M4, so, so we're gonna go ahead and go back and forth on um, who's better, right? I'm gonna be fully ready, 100%. I'm going against a, I'm going against an M4, so I gotta bring this thing. I gotta have this thing looking tip top shape. So what I did was I reached out to Pro Dipper and uh, spoke to him. Now you guys have your regular car that's painted, and you get that. And you, know, you can pretty much go anywhere. They can get the paint colors. Go ahead and paint it up for you guys. Uh, if it's wrap, you can go see any pretty much any kind of wrap guy, and they'll go ahead and maybe bondo it up a little bit and just uh, rewrap over that. But Autoflex, it not a lot of people do it. Not a lot of people are familiar with how it works. So you know you gotta time not to the ten. Wait for the guy who did it. Like I said, this is a custom color, so I want to wait for Phil from Pro Dipper. So his schedule got to line up with my schedule, you know, and the schedule I want to make some content with the car, and um, and then we can go ahead and get that started. 
So that's pretty much what's going on right now. Some of the options that you have if you were to uh, find yourself in this issue like me. Starting off with the most expensive, you can replace the bumper and just get the whole car painted over again. See, that's what makes sense to me, um, but it costs the most amount of money if you want everything 100% perfect. Now, the issue that I have with that personally is that I drive this car a lot. I make content for you guys, and I drive the car pretty hard. You guys know that. You know, and just things happen when you're just driving a car. Things happen. You know, I don't need this car to commute to work or anything like that. You know, I can just take public transportation for free. That's no big deal. However, I enjoy driving this car. When I drive it, I love it next option is to replace the front bumper and go ahead and just have him respray the bumper over again which i was going to go with uh, but now i'm considering because i don't want three different greens in the car all right guys um two is enough i don't want three like i said you probably won't be able to tell but i just can't take that risk i don't want to get it and just have it looking all crazy and then I get pissed off, you know. One of the main things I learned in building these cars, just building cars in general, is to, to not rush, you know. And sometimes the vision in your head may not come out on paper, and you got either one or two options. You can suck it up and just enjoy it as is, or you can go ahead and speak with the installer, applier, or whatever the case may be, and work out a solution. But the last thing you want to do is get heated, get upset, and rush it, get and be impatient. I'm telling you that from experience. When things did not go my way with this car, whether it be the turbo kit, the color, or anything with this car, I was just heated because I set this deadline in my head. And, and, and I never understood why I set a deadline for something like this, you know? You can't rush things like this. Um, however, I did. I set a deadline and I get super heated, get super upset when things weren't going my way. And, and then you cause so much unnecessary stress on yourself. And stress is not healthy, especially when it's over a car, bro. And at the end of the day, cars are fun, they're cool, we have a lot of fun in them, but these should, this should not be stressing you out, bro. It really shouldn't, especially the fact that I'm adding stuff on. What, I'm upset because the green ain't come out 100%, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go flip stuff around. Nah, you can just have a nice talk. Listen, this, this is not what I envisioned. Let me go this route, see what we could do, work something out, you know, or you could just suck it up and deal with it, right? So, like I said, I didn't want to have to make either one of those decisions with the front bumper. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to go ahead and see if he can patch that little area up. Because, like I said, it's the front bumper. I could always change it when I want to. If it doesn't come out perfect, you know, I, I'm not the most upset down low in the front. So like I said, he's going to go ahead and... Um, I guess scrape off some of the extra peelings, um, sand it down a little bit, and make it look original, and then paint it over with the green in that area. See the best we could do. Like I said, if it comes out terrible, then we'll just swap the whole bumper, but we just gonna go step by step. Other than that, the car held up pretty, pretty well. I love this Autoflex. I love the color of the way it looks. The only thing I don't like is explaining it to everybody because it's a little bit difficult to explain because once I get in the motion to start explaining it to everybody, they go, oh, so it's like plastic dip. That's like a smack in the face. Don't ever tell anybody who got their car Autoflex that it's like plastic dip because y'all seen them plastic dip cars and wheels out there. It's not the same. Autoflex, totally different. It actually looks like paint. Now, the technology might be similar to plastic dip, but it also doesn't come up as easy as uh, plastic dip. Now, I got a little scrape in the back from somebody. Maybe they were trying to get out of a parking spot. And they tagged my car up. You can see the scuff marks. I go into a picture right here. Tell so right here, uh, somebody went ahead and you know do what they normally do to me and hit some stuff. Oh, it looks like it's actually coming out a little bit better. But the Autoflex actually stood up to that, which I'm really, really happy about. The green stayed on, so you know it's durable, like the front bumper, where the green ripped off, the silver ripped, the silver ripped off as well. So at least I could say it stayed on as long as the paint stayed on, right? That comparison video will be coming soon because, you know, I got a lot of information from a lot of you guys online, you know, letting me know, hey, listen, um, this, this may be something you didn't know about rap, a couple of advantages of rap. So like I said, we're gonna get somebody who is a professional rapper or professional rap installer. He's gonna go ahead and walk over uh, the benefits of rap, the cons of rap. I'm gonna have a nice little chat with Phil from uh, from, from Pro Dipper. He gonna give me some ammunition to fire back because I don't wanna I don't wanna be around no professionals and I don't know what I'm talking about. 
I want to be able to stand by this, promote it because I really like it. It looks really, really nice to me. Now these shirts right here, they really aren't like into any type of production. So what I kind of do is like at the end of the videos, for those of you who kind of watched it all the way to the end, I let you guys know if you want to pick up a shirt like this, I give them out to like five people who can come out with like the special code or whatnot. In the video, I'll tell you something like, oh yeah, just remember guys, the code is Fat Five, you know, and DM me Fat Five. The first five people that DM me Fat Five will go ahead and um. I will go ahead and ship out some merch. And I would love to see you guys wear it. You can send a picture or take a picture, post it, tag me in it. Love to see you guys rocking it, man. It's, it'll, it'll, it'll be good for me. So once again, thank you guys for everybody that liked and subscribed to this video. I noticed I like I like the little setup I'm doing with the camera. So what I will do is pick up a mic. That's order and it's on its way. Pick up one of them little fancy wireless little things. That is on its way. I can't wait. I'm excited to continue growing and building this channel. Uh, but yeah, let me come get the camera because I got to show you guys the surprises. Boom. Look at that. Back to the back to the shaky mic. Nice little touch right here too at the slow speed. You guys remember these tires are bald. But that is about to change because I got new rubber for the back. And if many if you guys don't know this design right here, no, that's a that's another little that's another little a little thing that I ain't talk about, but <laughs> but y'all stay tuned, man, because I got some I got some stuff happening on this end that I think you guys will love and enjoy. But like I said, those right there, those are our R tires. Now the specs on those tires are 275, 40, R17, 17. throwing a 17-inch rim on the back comment below tell me tell me you guys know which one it is i think it's only two that's out that fit this car anyway so let me know down below what wheel's gonna be and uh you are you, you know the tire but you know what that means six i, I can't even I'm not even saying it I'm not even saying it guys thank you thank you thank you for tuning in and i'm gonna wrap this video up and i'm gonna get up out of here for you guys to watch tomorrow all right guys Microsoft speed. Peace out.